the failed ex-New Zealand Labour Minister of Finance Grant Robertson, as Jacinda Ardern bragged on his behalf at an open air Harvard University Summers Day meeting, was a proud, openly gay man. Ardern never once mentioned that Robertson had any financial skills or abilities, which is really not surprising, when you look back at Robertson's track record. Ardern actually had nothing positive to talk about in that department. What someone's sexual preference or perversion has got to do with their ministerial position and responsibilities, defies my imagination. Ardern openly bragged about a government's sexual diversity, rather than a government's ability to actually run a country, which clearly explains why New Zealand is in such a mess today. And, sadly, Jacinda Ardern, is still openly bragging about her ideological success, by criticizing the current government's efforts to put the country back on track. Ardern will eventually go down in history as one of the worst, if not the actual worst, Prime Minister of New Zealand. Likewise, Grant Robertson will go down as the worst Minister of Finance in New Zealand's history, make no mistake about that. Robertson was a financial buffoon. He was a pompous, financially illiterate imbecile who in six years supervised the most massive waste of taxpayer-funded debt New Zealand has ever seen. Sadly, Robertson believes that he was a great finance minister, and would have gone on too much greater heights, had he not been restricted because of his sexual preferences. Grant Robertson was nothing more than a mad socialist who continually loved to spend other people's money, disguised as a balanced caring approach for all Kiwis. In reality, if truth be told, the appointment of this incompetent fool as finance minister, was a significant flaw in democracy. There is little wonder that Ardern did a runner, and now Robertson's also doing a runner. Ardern runs off to Harvard University, and Robertson runs off to Otago University. This doesn't bode well at all, for the social or academic future of youngsters globally. New Zealand will continue to pay for Robertson's reckless financial behaviour for many years to come, yet Robertson blames everyone else for his criminal-like failures. Good riddance Grant Robertson, New Zealanders, for many reasons, will be far better off the further away you are from society. Thank you for listening. Geraint, on behalf of Funerate Him.